Hello guys, it's Captain Alot here, and I have no idea what to record. That's why you haven't seen much things come up onto my channel lately. But I thought I might as well show you the general side of things on Heroes and Generals. Because I've, I've already shown you all the classes. I've done my recruitment video thingy. <laughs> that I made up made up as I was thinking about it. And I thought I might as well do it. But um, yeah, this is Generals. This is where you get your squads, that you your assault teams that you uh, buy with either the stars credits which I don't exactly know what they're called uh, war funds or you can get it with gold of course you can buy everything with gold if you've got it but as you can see here I've got three of them I've named them UK 42 so if you ever see them in the battle you know who that is and um, for people who don't have assault squads you might see something like probably like like this here you'll see like little bits of fire happening and you don't know anything really you're looking at the map you know there's a fight there but you don't know what's going on now when you buy one assault team, it gets moved depending on what side you're on. When I'm on this side, on the American side, it usually comes up in here in the UK, my units. But if, let me zoom in here. As you can see here, Dover's under attack and I've got three units all in the same place with these bunch of lovely people here that you see. Um, and as you can see here, units are moving. Friendly units, players, are moving their squads over to uh, fight for the cause of Dover. So if I want to help them out, I will. I want to go to the one that's on fire really. I don't know why it actually sent me there like that. There we go. You should start seeing my tank move eventually towards the enemy location. Oh, I think we're fine in the middle. Can I send them here? There you go, look, my tanks are moving. And also my infantry squads are going to be moving. Now when it comes to these, let me see if I can get them up here. Yes, when it comes to these, when you fight, if it gets chosen for battle, you don't always get chosen for battle, but when you do, uh, you'll see your character, um, your squad, if I, if there is a fight going on here, here we go. If you see on the right side, if you look at the squads that are flashing yellow or orangey yellow, they're in the fight right now, they're engaged in battle. And also they'll start losing men. If you look at the top right, uh, you'll see 71 out of 72, so, so someone's just died. And they've lost the spawn there. But yeah, let me go back to the assault teams. When I don't know if you lose, you still I don't know if you rank up if you still lose. I don't know any of that yet. But um as I've been fighting with these units, as you can see on the left here, uh it says twenty five percent. My guys are slowly but surely or oh, one of them's eight percent. Oh no, wait, no, it's twenty five. Okay, it's lying to me. Oh, tanks are eight percent. Okay. So once they get to 100%, they get one star added to their little box here. And um, once they get added, as you can see at the bottom, where mine is just standard infantry, it will upgrade to motorized infantry. And when mine ranks up to rank 3, or the top rank here, I believe I get to choose. I'm not sure about this, but I believe I get to choose what side I want them to be on. Do I want them to be paratroopers or mechanized infantry? Same with the tanks here. Light armor, medium armor, or medium tank destroyers. And then rank 3 will go to heavy armor. But if I go to tank destroyers, I can't be heavy armor because it's in the wrong part of the tree. But that's what I found out so far. So yeah, there we go. My units are there ready to fight at Dover if they are needed. And if we lose, I think... Um, the, my units will get sent back to the last place they were at, so it'll go back to this place here. But yeah, oh look, as you can see there, there's a plane going off. I don't know where the hell he's going. There's no battle there. He might be um, nah, redeploying, I think. I'm not too sure. But as you can tell, planes move can just go across the map. They're super duper fast. Infantry are really slow at first, unless you get the motorized infantry and they just zoom past the map to the battle or wherever you're defending. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, look, there's another fight down here. So, I can't see the units going to be moving down there. But if I was at the place I came from, I would be able to see all the moon units moving out, moving in, into that location. So, the good thing about having multiple assault teams, if you move them over the map, across the whole map, you will eventually see just lots of things happening everywhere. Which is cool. I like this side of the game a lot. But yeah, that is Generals. If you want me to look at something else, tell me and I'll give you a look. 
uh, weapons, how they work, or not how they work, but shown in battle. So yeah, if uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like, subscribe for more stuff that I'll be doing. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. If you want me to play a game, tell me. Uh, I don't know what games are good out there these days to record, I'm not sure. I want to do a series of some kind of a game. Maybe go back to Prop Hunt again or something with Gary's mod. Or I, I would say Minecraft, but that is done a hell of a lot in games. Or maybe another war game. I don't know, you tell me. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. Drive on the road please. Okay, I'll drive through the <laughs> I got skill, man.